They say, oh my God, I see the way you shine. Take your hand, my dear, and place them both in mine. You know you stopped me dead while I was passing by. You enter your boss's office room and saw him busy with paperwork. Good morning, sir. Your coffee. Mocha latte, you said, as you came to his table, placed the napkin, and put the Starbucks cup on the top of the tissue. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Yes, sir. How about you, sir? Mm, yeah, I dreamed someone last night. He said and chuckled, but when you look at him, he suddenly stopped and bite his lips. Do you need anything, sir? If nothing else, I'll go back to my desk. Oh yeah, before I forgot, the documents that I asked you yesterday, I need that before 4. Kindly finish that. Okay, I will do that, sir. Then I leave now. As you walk going to the door, but he called you again to make you stop and turned around to face him. Why in? You look so gorgeous in your outfit. Where did you buy that? Ah, uh, thank you, sir. In sale? Why? You want it? Huh? Where do I use it? I don't know. Maybe you want to wear this to sleep, you said, and ran going out from his office before your boss nagged on you. You are working for the chairman of June Corporation as his secretary for five years and still counting. But that's not really the job you want. You applied as an ordinary employee but you got rejected. After one month, you receive a call from the same company and telling you that you are hired as a secretary. You hesitate to accept the job since you have no idea about the job. You wondered why you were hired as a secretary, but you let it go since you really need a job because you are a breadwinner of the family, so you accepted it even though you didn't know what a secretary's job was. It's good thing that someone taught you. Your boss is a nice and good person. There is only one thing you don't like. He is a perfectionist, especially when in terms of work. If he needs any documents, you need to arrange in alphabetical order before you pass on him. If not, prepare yourself to hear his nagging rap. For several months, you endure his preaching almost every day. And finally, after one year, you almost memorize and know him very well. That's why you don't get scolded. Your work is not perfect. Sometimes you also make a mistake. And for him, it's normal to make a mistake. If you used to be afraid of him before, now you are not afraid of him anymore. Since you know from yourself that you did your best for your job. But the respect was always there. At first, you don't like your job, but now... You love it. Because of your job, you can put food in your family's table. This lately, you realize that your boss taught you a lot. Before, you just wear what you have and save yourself because your family needs money more. But he taught you that it's not bad to spend on yourself especially if you need it. Well, he's right. With your type of work, you always need to be pleasant in eyes of other people because you are facing them and you need to do it because you choose that work. Your boss taught you to love yourself before the others.
You saw your boss come out of his office. You stood up and immediately asked him if he needed anything. He told you no and don't go to the cafeteria. After that, he rode the elevator. After five minutes, he came back holding a paper bag as he held your hand and pulled you going to his office. Let's eat together, he said. What is this, sir? A treat? You ask. No, bribe. Bribe, so you don't resign. I'll be honest. I don't know if I see someone like you again. You just see smile and biting your lips while having butterflies in your stomach. While the two of you were eating, he suddenly looked at you and stopped eating. He put down the chapstick that he was holding in the table and held your neck. Your eyes widened and look at him. He raised his other hand and wiped the side of your mouth by his finger. There is a sauce in your mouth, he said and continued to eat. You just freeze for a second because your heart almost poke up and you start blushing. You took your plate and continued to eat while turning your back to him because you know that your cheeks are blushing. What are you doing? Nothing, sir. But why are you turning your back on me? Nothing, sir. As he giggled, cause he already saw you blushing like a boiled lobster. Time skip. 3, 10 in the afternoon. You knock and enter his office as you handed the documents that he asked. He checked it and saw him secretly smile. The kind of smile is the fact that you did a good job and he appreciates your work. Five PM end of office hours. Goodbye, sir. See you tomorrow. Wait, wait. Let's go down together. As he took his car key and phone from his table and snatched your bag that you are holding. Even though Jungkook is the chairman of the company, he doesn't want to treat him as a VIP. He rides for employees' elevator and he is driving by his own. And since the office hours are over, many people board the elevator and feel it. Jungkook held your wrist and pulled you closer to him as he held your shoulder to support you. You two get out of the elevator as bid goodbye to him. Goodbye, sir. He looked at you and frowned his forehead and spoke. Stop saying goodbye. I'll take you home. Yes, sir, as you replied. You are on your boss car when you receive a call from your friend from college. She came from a rich family, but she treats you so well, even though you are not rich. Hello, Cassie. You're at home? Not yet. I'll wait for you this weekend at my birthday party, okay? I'm not sure if I can come. Why? Because of them? Mm. I'm sorry, YN. Actually, I don't invite them, but you know, their parents is my parents' friends, so it's impossible that they're not coming. As you hang up the call, and sigh. Why? Is there a problem? My friend asked me to attend to her birthday party but I can't even though I want to. Why? Because your bullies are there? YN, maybe it's time to face them. Show them that you are not the YN before. 
if they used to be little you before, show them that they can do that to you now. Do you think I can do it? Of course! Just trust yourself. And you that you're going I don't like him, so he is all yours. Besides, I have already a fiancé. Shh, you whisper and step back. Fiancé? Oh, come on, YN, you are dreaming. When someone holds your waist from your behind and speak. And who told you that my fiancé is dreaming? Jungkook said, and gave them a death glare. Mr. Jun, the girl too said, in shock. The other girl asked her if she knows him, and when the girl too told them that he was the owner of Jun Corporation, their eyes widened and can't believe that he is your fiancé. Babe, why you didn't tell me that you're also going here? I want to surprise you. And I want to see these mosquitoes. They don't have anything against your beauty, even if they already showered with makeup. Let's go. Let's not waste time on these people. They don't deserve to spend time. He said, and assist you going to his business partner and introduce you as his fiancé, leaving the three girls embarrassed by what Jungkook said in front to many people. Five years ago, same situation, you attend your friend's birthday. You're just wearing a simple dress when the same girls humiliated you because of your dress. Since college, they always embarrass you because of your clothes. Clothes are not important to you as long as you have something to wear it okay. Your tuition is more of your priority. The time that the same girls humiliated you, Jungkook was there. He knows you're acting okay, but deep inside, you are hurt. One day, Jungkook found out that you applied to his company but rejected, so he decided to hire you as his secretary. Actually, he didn't need a secretary, but because he wanted to help you, 
he did that. He thought he just wants to help you, but time passes by, he realized that he likes you. After two years of working for him, he confessed to you that he had a feelings for you and asked you if he can court you and give him a chance to show you that he is serious. And because you really saw that his feelings are genuine and you also had a crush on him, you answer him a big yes. After eight months of flirting, After three years of dating, Jungkook proposed to you and now you are his fiancé. Jungkook is a type of person who wants his private love life has a privacy. In the office, you two are acting like boss and employee. If his employee found out, then it's up to them. But since Jungkook employee loves him and respects him, even though they know about your relationship, they don't care. They give their boss a privacy that he wants. The end. Thank you for watching Kubis. Good night, Mama Chup Chup.